this is our last week. And our painting is at this point now where we've done a couple of weeks of block-in, a week of modelling and then some detail. So we'll add more detail this week. I don't think I'm going to finish it absolutely all, but I guess there's a point at which I'll speak to you individually about your paintings <coughs> over these next uh, couple of weeks. So the first video I'm going to focus on is this to do with this orange. Um, I haven't quite worked out my other videos, but I think there's going to be one to do with this area here and then probably one to do with the rocks. So they're my three. I had a bit of trouble, which was recorded for posterity last week. I used a plate. It was too small. And what was happening was I was getting paint on my on my hand. And so that was a bit of a, a disaster. So if you can pinch a bigger plate. Marshall, thank you for this plate that you've given me to use, plus a few others. Um, I've put code here. Liquid, titanium white, lamp black, and burnt upper. So these are my tonal type desaturating uh, pigments. And then I've got my colours. The cadmium's red and yellow, the cobalt blue, and the primary cyan. So they're the ones I'm going to be using in today's session. And I've, I've given myself a little <laughs> black sticky tape to know where to hold the thing because that's where in the frenzy of making the videos it's where I forgot where I was. Okay, so we're going to we're going to work on this, um, and I'm going to get this pretty right first time up, mainly because I've already recorded. I I've already kind of gone through and tried all this, so um, yeah. Look, I'm. I'm as good at, as you at making mistakes. So don't um, take my lack of uh, uncertainty with this recording as any kind of indication that I, I get it right first time I don't. So I'm gonna mix an orange for down here. So I'll throw this in the, in the mix, that sort of orange there. Now um, I'm grabbing a little bit of cadmium red to mix my orange. I'm probably going to avoid putting any liquid. It's, it's not crucial anyway, uh, because we're just working for a session here. Uh, but you can see it's gone quite thick on me because I don't, I've used a fair bit of cadmium red and that tends to overwhelm the yellow. So I've got that there. I can, I'd like it to go a little bit more on the uh, yellow. We know that cadmium yellow is a very, a very sort of yellowy green, but th look, that's that's um, a good start. Now, obviously, if I put this on, it's it's way out of the ballpark. You can see it's it's way too dark, way too dark, and um, too red. So, I'll need to add some white to this. So what I'm going to do is, you see, I'm not adding, I'm just using the paint that's on my brush to give me the sort of result I want. I'll grab a little bit of liquid just to keep it mixing. I actually think this is quite a, quite a nice way. If I can, you know, keep it all in the bowl and um, I'll be well on my way. Now, it looks a bit pasty to me, so I'm going to grab a little bit more just to up the saturation this is is quite a saturated color over here so to my eye so i'm just going to crank up that saturation it's still kind of hard to mix so a little bit more liquid just to make it there it goes and starts to starts to move a little bit more so i've got these sort of base camps here um, that'll allow me to pick little bits of um, a richer color let's have a look at what we get when we mix this And look, this is um, one thing that I was meaning to do, but didn't quite get to. I meant to um, stick a, a tape on here because I'm going to be working on this horizon line. And it's just easier um, to have the tape as a bit of a drip tray. 
and we are going to go right across with our orange so and as I've said to you it's quite easy to recycle your masking tape I just got some of this tape from it comes from the UK and I uh, uh, got it on eBay it is called I'll show you Uh, it's called um, Tamiya Masking Tape, uh, 6 mil, and it comes in a little dispenser like that, and I bought refills, and I find it really good, you know, particularly um, here you can see you're not blocking out a large swathe of the painting. Anyway, so that was just a little plug from our sponsors. You know, I'll probably fine tune this, but it looks all right to me. Now you can see that the orange gets very much muted along that horizon line. So we've got a couple of alternatives. And the one I'm going to use is I'm still going to use this quite bright uh, version, but I'll just rub it back a bit. So look, the tape makes it just so easy. You know why I would waste time trying to get a nice straight line by eye. I can do it, but just you know, my my painting time's limited, so I don't want to do that. So I've got I've got that hint of the orange down there, and I'm just giving it a little bit of a softening, just so that it's it's more um, a hint there below the clouds rather than a a big bold statement of orange and I'm also going to use my paper towel I could equally um, use a brush like my dry dry brush I use or I could use my big brush I'm not going to use my ah oh, yeah I'll use it I was just being lazy I didn't want to have to wash it but you can see how I can sort of feather that in okay look I'm pretty Pretty happy about that. Um, I'll just, the orange should be a little bit more solid around here, around the edge. I'll drop a little bit on this side as well. We can always cover that. And there's also um, a little bit of orange creeping up into here, into this part. So I throw a little bit on and there's just a hint of it going across the top here. Not a lot, just a hint. And again, um, I have the paper towel just to soften that a little bit, a little bit if I want to soften those edges and drop that in. Uh, what do you think? I think it's an improvement. Um, I'm not saying it's my final version, but I think it's, um, it's definitely um, getting me to where I want to go. I'll just do a couple more things with this orange. So I've got to remember that. Um, my, I feel like a juggler. I've got iPads and brushes and paints. Um, there's quite a bit of orange in here, right? So I'm just going to throw a bit more orange into there while I've got it on the brush. And as with all these things, see what I'm doing? I, I, one side and then I flip it to the other. Um, and I'll run a little bit more down here, but I am going to take to this with a paper towel and soften it somewhat. Um, and I could uh, equally put uh, some in here and some in here. And just fix that up with a, with a brush. Okay, look, I think this is a... With the orange, it's pretty good time to finish up. Um, we've we've done that area and taken it out and through off to the left hand side. Added a little bit here, put a little bit here, and then feather that, and maybe just soften the brightness of that orange because you know it's going to go. Um, 
a little bit less saturated as we, we head it off into the distance. And we've got this, I think in the next video, I'll talk about the sun and what I'm going to do there.